potentially got a show in, in August. Tell yeah, us we're about that. We've done a show here in August. We don't the other rings yet. You know, we're looking to maybe put Luke out again, Matthew. Uh, Matthew James, Wilton and yeah, Luke Wilton, your yeah, sons. Uh, James Tennyson. Maybe uh, Lee Dan, McShane. Uh, Colin Carmichael and Paul Moffat, maybe. But don't know, we're jiggling with names and stuff at the moment, yeah. you know. Main, uh, so part so of there's no, no date set for that, but it's going to be the Holiday Inn. Is that the Holiday Inn? Hopefully Holiday Inn. I've got to put, I had a couple of dates booked, but I'm going to have to change them about now, you know. So, and me and Mark done that, Belfast Peace Promotions. We're going to run a few shows here with the Ulster Hall book for the 13th of October. So that's a, another show. So you got the show on, in August, then you got another show in October yep. in conjunction with Mark Dunlop, yep. a new partner of yours. Yep. Uh, he's uh, under the banner of Peace Promotions. Yeah. How did that come about? Well, he's been on the phone a few times, a few people knew him and met him a few times and he's enthusiastic about boxing and he wants to try and have a go in Belfast and he'd booked all the dates in Ulster Hall and, you know, he sort of wanted to row in with us and we row in with him and, you know, we've done our back, we've run these shows like, you know, and how hard it is and what we're doing. He could be a big asset to the game, you know, for us, so we're hoping to secure a major title deal for, for Luke on the bill and if we do that, it'll just be a... Hopefully, they sold out Ulster Hall show and bring big time boxing back to Belfast. It'd be great to have the Ulster mm. Hall. You know, it's a, it's a reckon, it's a, it's not a massive venue. It's a good, nice, tidy yeah. venue. The support is right in in the ring, oh, uh, and oh, it's uh, in a nice neutral area for everyone mm. to get into yeah, into yeah, the city yeah. centre as well. And uh, the box of people come to it, you know, yeah. because it's a great venue. You a know, great it's, history. It's a load of history with it, you know, and everybody goes through the door. You know, all the boxers want to entertain because it's a place to be. You know. Yeah. You, they say you won something in the Ulster Hall or won in the Ulster Hall or boxed in it, you know, it's a great achievement for any kid. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, you got some other cracking uh, prospects going on to that bill as well. You yeah. got Paul Maffitt will be on it, there'll be Colin Carmichael. I've, I've, we've probably put nine fights on, you yeah. know, with a title fight. We're not sure. We're just, everything's just wide open at the minute. We're still working through, through things and figures and who's on, who's not, you know, but. Couple of Gary Hyde lads, uh, yeah, D. Walsh, and Mark Heffron. And Heffron, you know. So it's, it's a lot of quality. A lot, lot of quality. quality it's a, it, it, people get their money's worth, you know. And is that is that what's really needed now? You know, you got to provide people with quality because they just don't want to come out because of the recession and the yeah, way. Yeah, well, we, we try to entertain anyway. You know, yeah. we, we give them money, value for money. You know, like the cheapest tickets twenty five quid in the Ulster Hall. So we only get them, you know. Go to a concert, it's 40, 50, 60 quid. Yeah. You know, we put eight, nine, ten fights on with a title. Maybe secures TV or something. You wouldn't know. You know. You wouldn't know what come off. You know. You know. And uh, try and build a fan base back in Belfast the way Mr. Eastwood done. You know. You got to take your hat off to him. What he done. What achieved in boxing. You know. And if we can do it and do a wee bit of it, don't need to do anywhere what he done. But if you got a wee bit of it, you yeah. know. And just get the kids based in Belfast and fans. Get the yeah. fans behind them. Like Liverpool, London, Manchester. The way it is everywhere else. Why can't we do it in Belfast if we all work together? Yeah. We're open to work with all the promoters and managers and trying, you know, and everybody's not going to get on the first show, but they're all going to get a job sometime, you know what I mean? Yeah. We're all going to try and work together. I'm going to try and keep the door open for everybody, you know, you know, and just keep everybody working and get the job going, you know what I mean? The more fights, the more work, the better for everyone anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You build a wee bit of a base up, you know what I mean? You, you, like if you're packing that out every hour, eight weeks or six weeks, what a, what a, what a great achievement yeah. to be, you know what I mean? And the atmosphere in that place when it's full, it's like phenomenal, it's unbelievable, you know. Plus, it's all, you know, like football, you you, you have a, you, you support a team and you've got a regular fixture to go to. You know, boxing's a little bit like that in that people get used to going to boxing, so you almost need well, to have we've regular got the shows. We've the coming to Holiday and shows all the time. We put the name down, boom, they're all going mad for tickets, you know. It sells out, it's, the Holiday Inn's sold out every show, you know. Yeah. And the atmosphere's electric, you know. Like, the last show we had Sky came and televised it for ringside. The, the show that UTV came, showed it, you know, we had a good quality top of the bill, which was going to be a very hard night for Luke. And it turned out he, he, he caught him, knocked him in the first round, you know, he was hurt before and he came back and caught him. It's a, it's a sign of a champion, you know what I mean, or a future champion, you know, getting hurt and coming back and doing the job, you know, and getting it over in a hurry, you know. So you've got a nice little stable brewing there now, you yeah, know. You've got, we have 18, you know, 18 pros there. Luke ready for British title Luke's level number one at least. Britain, number two in Europe. Number and then you've got like Moffitt. guys like Colonel Carmichael and Paul Moffat coming yeah. up through the Quality, ranks. Good, good strong players, lads. Yeah, you know, all good fan base behind them too. You know. Would you see both of those maybe getting to British title level? Do you think yeah, they're, they're, they're yeah, at that, that level of quality? Why yeah. not? Colonel's a, a cruiser, with, you know. You so know. It's not the strongest division. 
there's not many in it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like five had the big Steve Sims was meant to do a title there a couple last week. Yeah. It was with the uh, Chris Keane that was cancelled, you know, and that's only his fifth fight or something, or sixth fight. So why can't Connell do the same? You know? Yeah. We'd probably try and secure an Irish title first. Yeah. You know, or an Orin Randori and then an Irish and then we'll go again, have a look at it, you know? Yeah. You know. And, and then, then Paul Maffet, he's the same, you know. Paul's Paul's a quality fighter. Good, tough, rugged fighter. Good, strong you know, fan base as well, like, yeah, so he's always going to be in demand. He brings a whole banger to watch him, you know, and he gives he gives value for money to him, you know. He's on the 21st as well, again, Tommy told him. Yeah. Tommy's a good mate of mine, nice guy, you know. Hopefully Paul pulls through that, you know. He's a young kid on the block coming through, you know. Well, you know, he has looked good in his, in his you know, his, his early run out, so... Mm-hmm. Well, he beat... Uh, Kieran yeah, in his debut, know, which is a know, big, big, big scout. The fight I didn't really want right up there last week, or four days before, and ended up we took it, you know. You yeah. Know, you know, you know, you've got to be careful when you're looking after them. Just take the right fights at the right time, you know. You know. So that was a that was a gamble. That was a bit of a gamble. Big there, gamble, wasn't it? but you know, you know, Kieran's a man of mine too, and you know, we just thought, you know, we could have maybe nicked that fight, you know what I mean? And, and but sort of. It takes you a watch when you're taking fights like this because they cannot get back. You make yeah. fights, you know, it's harder to push them on in a hurry, you know, you have to watch what you're doing, you know. So we'll just take our time with him. He's plenty of time. He's entertaining. And he sells tickets, yeah. you know. So and we're the, building the kids up, you know. And our Matthew, he'll be out. Well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, Matthew's, you know, he's, he's, he's had a bit of a knock in his personal life, but he's, you know, he's ba- yeah. is he back training full time? Yeah, or? he's back there training, you know, getting his head around, getting his head focused on boxing again. He's, he's, he's training away, you know. Hopefully he's on this August show and he'll have a second fight and just we'll take it just one step at a time, you know. Yeah. You know, it's, you know we'll just build it up. Have you settled it. on a weight for him? Like well, what's what? He'll be welterweight. Yeah. He'll end up a welterweight. You know he's sitting about Lambstone now, Lambstone one, Lambstone two, but he'll end up ten seven. Yeah. You know, and that's he'll be his weight, like you know. Yeah. And is there any other lads that we don't know about that sort of coming through the ranks ready to sort of jump oh. jump over the hurdle and into pros? Oh, I have a kid, new kid there turning pro with Alex Bassa. Yes. He's he's turning over, he's just had his scans and he's, he's getting his medicals done this week. You know, he, he he's a tough kid too, you know, he's won a few B titles as an amateur, but, you know, he just wants to be working, you know what I mean? He's here to go to work, you know. Yeah. You know, he, he, you know, he might upset a few kids, just like Moses, you know, but, you know, he wants to get a live, you know, just see how he goes. Get his first fight under him and see, you know. I think a few also have. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good few, few coming through, but uh, uh, listen, I wish you good luck for uh, show in August and in the rest, much, uh, also your show coming up in October. Uh, I won't wish you as much luck for <laughs> your uh, for, for your outing, outing in July, but I'm Big sure. Up the Irish <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a we'll have a drink after it anyway, no, no problem. problem. Good luck, thank you. Cheers, thanks thank very you. much. Cheers,